Welcome. In this video, Mark will be showing us an approach using Azure DevOps to create CI/CD pipelines that deploy infrastructure into GCP using Terraform. We'll have a quick look at the Azure DevOps components in use, an explanation of job triggers and flow, and a look at the final results in GCP. Let's head to the demo. Hey folks, it's Mark from Arctic here. I've got a demo today. I'm going to show off uh, Azure DevOps being used to create a CI/CD pipeline to use in Terraform to deploy into GCP. So this is just a demo. If you want to see actually how this was set up, there's a blog on the Arctic website. We'll get it posted in the comments for you. Uh, but let's just dive right into the demo. So what you see on my screen here, this is the Azure DevOps portal for those of you who haven't seen it before. Uh, we're making use of the pipeline. So there's two pipelines we've got created. The first one is an integration pipeline. So the first thing we see here is uh, the pipeline is set up for the build. It is responsible for connecting to GitHub, grabbing the Terraform, and publishing an artifact. That kind of tag teams off to this release pipeline. So the release pipeline says, hey, I see a new build artifact. That's cool. Let me go ahead and prep that and then push it out to uh, be released and by released in this scenario is it's rolling out some infrastructure to GCP. So this is just set up. This is a base default kind of setup. Uh, I know we see some runs from when I was doing some testing, but just to baseline a bit further, we'll show you the uh, Google Cloud project where we're going to be rolling this into. Um, just to be clear, there are no VM instances currently. And we can take a look at VPC networks. There's only the default network that exists so far. And lastly, we'll be also rolling out a storage bucket. So just to show that there is only a single bucket that exists today, and it is the storage bucket for the Terraform state. So over in my GitHub repo, I have a Terraform directory. Not a whole lot here yet. Uh, we're working with this ADO-GCP branch. This is the one that the build uh, integration pipeline is set to watch. So when it sees that there's been a new commit, it's going to pick up and trigger. So we're going to add in first the storage request, and then we'll switch back to our Azure DevOps window up here, and we'll watch that kind of roll out, and then we'll rinse and repeat and do the same thing with the compute. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to grab a storage share form that I have prepped here, and we're going to check that into our GitHub. Wait for that to sync. Cool. Let's switch back to the Azure DevOps window for a moment here. So switching back, like I said, the first thing that's going to pick up is that integration pipeline. So we see that is running. It's queued. And the nice thing with Azure DevOps is you can kind of see uh, everything that's going on. If we navigate in, down to the job. Just catching that one of the font when it's finalizing. That's pretty quick. Like I said, it's not doing a whole lot. Let's hop down to the release pipeline. So we can see that it's queuing this one up. Let's just drill down in a bit further. So the first thing it did is it saw that there was a trigger from the integration pipeline, grabbed that artifact. Now it's deploy it's queued for deployment, just waiting for an agent to be ready. There we go, we're starting up here. Download that artifact, make sure that's ready. Runs through replacing the tokens. You can read about that in the blog, what we're doing there. Uh, basically, we're just making some generic Terraform and dropping in specific environmental variables. Do a Terraform init, do a Terraform plan, and lastly, it's doing the Terraform apply. We can see highlighting here. We can see that it's given it an ID. Creation complete. Cool. So now if I switch back over to my Google Cloud Console window, let's just give it a refresh here. And there it is. Cool. OK, let's rinse and repeat and do the same thing but for that compute instance. So with the compute instance, we have a few more things going on. It's going to request the uh, VPC network to attach it to, as well as create the compute instance. And then it's also going to create a firewall rule.
All right, let's hop back over to our pipeline. So again, integration pipeline is going to pick that up. There it goes. See if we can catch this run. We can see there's been a bunch of uh, previous runs that were successful. Let's drill down and take a look. Job is still running. Just caught it at the end. Let's pop over to the release pipeline. See that it's queued, so click on queued. I'm gonna wait for that agent to start. And sometimes it depends on uh, the actual load uh, at Azure, but it can take a moment to start up. There it goes. Run through all the same steps. This one may take a little longer. There's a little more going on. Uh, I've pre-enabled all the APIs that were required to speed it up, but it may still take a moment. Some things I want to point out while that is running. So when it downloads this artifact, so recall that that artifact is coming out of the build pipeline, that integration pipeline. You can push that same artifact that has that same set of Terraform code across environments. So right now we're just deploying it to a single, I've called it a development environment, but you could then have that trigger a, a build in your staging environment and as well into a production environment. Um, the nice thing there is you know for 100% certainty because it's using that produce build artifact, it's going to be the same uh, Terraform result across the board. The only thing that's going to be changing are the variables that define that environment. So I see that the, I can see that the VPC has been created. Now we're waiting on the instance. Oh, looks like it's done. Done. Okay, great. Let's pop back into our Google Cloud console window. Check out the compute VM. Hey, there it is. Cool. Now let's just check out the VPC network. We'll see that that is there as well. We have a demo VPC that's been created. And lastly, let's just show that the firewall rule got rolled out as well. So we can see that we've created a ingress firewall rule for port 80 uh, with anything tagged as foo. So that's kind of it for the demo. Uh, I encourage you to hop on over to our website, read the blog, see how I set this up. And uh, happy to ask, answer any questions. Just drop them in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in. We hope you've enjoyed the demo. Make sure to like and subscribe and follow the Arctic team for the latest updates, demos, and technical deep dives. Take the next step.